okay we want to display our drill holes in graphics and there are several ways that we can do this first of all you can go to the database in the status area click on it and select display drill holes you can also click on the display drill holes icon and the form will appear another way to display drill holes is selecting display from the database menu and choose drill holes again you can come to the status bar area and type dh which is the function or shortcut for display drill holes press enter on the keyboard and the form will appear good now on this form we have free scale view to show all holes in plan view whenever this box is checked holes that will be displayed in graphics will be in the plan view and that's exactly how we want to view our true holes so this box will remain checked add constraint to holes anytime this box is checked a constraint form appears for you to set or apply constraints to the drill holes we will not set any constraints for the drill holes we want to display all the drill holes so we will uncheck this box and as you can see there are several tabs that we can display our drill holes from the tray stars gives us option for us to select the tables from which we want to display the drill holes and it represents only a line or a drill hole tracing graphics in the color star section the color is the starting point of the drill hole and it is always located on the topography you can also view the maximum depth of the drill hole from this section a design or a repeated decoration can also be set for the various rock types to be displayed along the drill hole trees and in the labels tab you can provide a test or note for the assays and geology which can be displayed along the drill hole trees and this permits us to view the particular lithology or rock type that is hosting the mineralization again when we are viewing grays or the good values you can provide a bar graph to see how the good values change with each other you can also display the various metrages of footage along the drill hole that the drill hole intervals you can also view the azimuth and dip from this section now let's say i want to display my drill holes from a particular table and I'll select the fill from this section. Let's say I want to view my drill holes from the assay table and the fold, I want to look at the good values. So I'll click apply and my drill holes are displayed. I can press enter on the keyboard and go back to the form. This time around, I want to display my drill holes from the color table and the fold, I want to display the whole ID. Click apply and the holes are displayed. Now I want to display my drill holes from the geology table and this time I'm going to look at the lithology or the rock types. Good. As you can see, no matter the tables that we display our drill holes from, the drill holes are uniformly green. This is because we've not set stars to display the data. So all that we are left with is to provide colors for the various rock types and the good values, which we will do right away. <clears throat> so I'll exit this. Then I'll go to the database and select display drill hole stars. You can also click on the display drill holes icon from the tools bar and the form will appear. Again, you can come to the display and select display drill hole stars. Okay, now on this form, we have two sections. We have tables and fills and we have the display attributes. The tables and fills gives us the options for us to select the various tables or fills that we want to set stars for. And in the display attribute section, we will provide the colors and the values that we want to give to the tables and fills. Okay, so we begin by setting stars for the assay, that's the gold values. So I'll click the drop down here, go to the average gold value field, right click on it and select get minimum and maximum range. This will load from our database the minimum gold value and the maximum gold value. So from my database, I have 0 0.005. To be my minimum gold value and 5.06 to be my maximum gold value so i'll right click on it and select remove star this is going to give us a clue or idea our cutoff limit okay so i'm going to apply new star so i'll click add new star i'm going to set my own cutoffs depending on what you want to do you set your own cutoffs okay so I'm going to apply various grade cutoffs for the good categories. Okay. 
so let's say my first gold value i want to give it i'll enter the from value which is the minimum gold value and the two value which is the maximum gold value for a particular cut of grid okay so my from value is going to be zero and my cutoff is going to be 0 0.2 i want to give it a graphics color of white and i want the graphics color to be the same as the plotting color now let me explain the difference between the graphics color and the plotting color the graphics color is the color that will be displayed in Cepax graphics window and the plotting color is the color that will be displayed when you are preparing your data for printing or plotting okay so note the difference now i'll go to my next cutoff and it's going to be 0 0.2 to um, 0 0.4 and i want to give it a color blue we wouldn't worry ourselves with the graphics pattern and the plotting color we will do that for the geology that's the lithologies my next cutoff is going to be 0 0.4 to 0 0.75 now give it a color green then I'll go to the next category 0 0.75 to 1.3 that's my cutoff then I'll give it a color yellow go to my next one the cutoff is 1.325 and I'll give it a color red my last category is 5 to infinity na 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 and I'll give it a color magenta okay so right now we've set stars for the various grids so anytime i display my jewels and i see the color white i will know that the gold values is within this range okay so we are done with testing stars for the gold values i'll collapse this then go to the geology and set stars for the lithology now i'll right click here and select get food codes what this means is that sepak will load all the codes that's when you are logging the codes that you use to log sepak will load all the codes that you have in your database and bring them to you so you are going to set stars for the various lithologies okay um we will set stars for the lithologies and also do for the redox okay here the codes can be lumped when i say the codes can be lumped for instance, if we had several codes that had the starting letter to be D, we can give them a particular color so that it will make our work very simple and easier to view. Okay. So my first um, rock type, which is the dike, I want to give it a color. So the code has been indicated here. This, we are not going to set any cutoff, so the from and the two value will be inactive. So I want to give it a graphics color red. I want it to have the same color as my plotting color and the graphics pattern that's the decoration I want to give it this and the plotting color plotting pattern I'll give it this then I'll go to the fill material I want to give the fill material a white color Then I'll change the graphics pattern to this one. Okay. We are doing the graphics pattern and the plotting pattern to give the various designs for the different lithologies or rock types. Because the drill hole will penetrate that geological formation. Okay. So I go to the gray keys, then I'll give it a color lavender.
then I go to the meta volcanics I'll give it a color yellow so anytime I see yellow when I display my lithologies from the geology table I will know that it's a meta volcanic rock then I go to my folites I'll give it blue Then I'll change the graphics pattern and the plotting pattern. Then I go to my fly schist. Um, as you can see, we have these codes beginning with P, so I can give them the same color. Then I'll give my quartz vein um a silver color then i'll change the graphics pattern okay i want to increase the thickness of the drew hole trees when i display my lithologies so i'll come here and increase the thickness to three Click on the line and select properties. Now increase the thickness. This will make my work very easier and beautiful to look at. Okay. Okay, so we are done with certain styles for the rock types. Beautiful. Now I'll go to my weathering state, which is the radius. Right, click on it and select full codes. This will load the various codes that I have in the weathering state field of my geology table. So for the completely oxidized zone, I want to give it a red color. Then I'll increase the line thickness. Then the fresh zone, I'll give it blue. Then the strong loss dye zone, I'll give it yellow. Okay. So we are done with setting styles. Beautiful. So I'll click apply. And now we will display our drill holes to view them again. I'll just go to the database, select it and click display drill holes. Now let's say I want to display the drill holes from the assay table and I want to look at the good values. Beautiful. As you can see, colors are in there the colors that we set for the assay values the red yellow green blue and the white are all here so anytime i see color white i will know that the gold value is between 0 and 0 0.2 okay so i'll go back to the form and this time around i want to look at the geology i want to view the lithology okay because I increased the line thickness, that's why the drill hole trees are looking very thick. So these are the colors that we apply for the drill holes. Okay. Let's view um, the weathering state. We also set the stars for the redox. Beautiful. So the red is my complete loss dye zone. The yellow is my transition and the blue is my fresh. All right. So we are done with setting styles for all the fills from the geology and the assay table. Okay, now we are going to look at some of the things that we can do when we display our drill holes. That's the drill hole manipulation. We can do a whole lot of things. Let's say I want to display my drill holes. Um, I want to display the assay. I want to look at the gold values. 
then you can go here um, cylinder style cylinder is just a tool that can help you view areas of high grades it would pick it from the stars table the stars um, the grades which are greater will have a high marker and the lower grades will have smaller markers so you can go to variable width so the different grades will have different sizes so let's click apply to view it okay i'll zoom in and as you can see because our magenta was the highest grade the cutoff grade was five to nine 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 that's why the size is greater than all the other stars it was followed by the red which has a cutoff of 1.3 to 5 so the higher the grade the higher the size okay so i'll go back let's say first width this will display all the sizes being equal okay so the sizes for the various grades will be the same and you choose no cylinders no grades will appear all right okay let's say we're going to do something from the color stars tab you can you can change the marker that's the design of the marker let's change it to this symbol then the marker size let's change it to one these are some of the things that you would want to do when you display the drills it's just for the creation purposes the label orientation how do i want to see my drill hole um, i mean the whole id you can select a long path or center then the fold hole id the position i want it to be at the color you can also right click and add a new one and select a field maximum depth and then the position is supposed to be the end of the hole i want to view the maximum depth at the bottom of the hole that's the end of the hole so i'll click apply okay still in progress loading okay so these are my drill holes as you can see we change the marker styles to be these circles and the whole id is located there a long path so it will take the path of the drill hole let's look at the maximum depth it's also located at the bottom of the drill hole beautiful now let me change it to um, let me change it to this then i'll decrease the size to 0 0.5 then this time around, I want to view the whole ID centered. I'll click apply. So my whole ID has been centered. Likewise, my maximum depth of the hole. So you can do any manipulation to see what you want. Let's say I want to display the geology patterns. This time I want to display from my geology. I want to look at the lithology. And I want to display the geology patterns from the geology table. The patterns that we set when we were looking at the geology table. So the offset, the distance from the drill hole, I want it to be um, 1.5 meters away from the drill hole. And the position will be at the right side of the drill hole. So as you can see, this is the pattern that we set for the lavender. So it will display it at an interval of one meter away from the drill hole trees. So each color has its pattern. Okay. So this is the pattern we give to the red color and this is the pattern we give to the blue color okay the offset is just the distance that you want to view that particular area from the drill hole trees so as you can see this is the drill hole trees and this is the pattern one meter away from the drill hole trees 
okay I can also label the gold values I see I want to label the gold values can right click and add want to label the geology lithology the position of the assay I want it to be on the left I want the geology to be on the right and I want it a distance of one meter for the assays and a distance of four meters okay don't want to view anything for the geology patterns I'll click apply okay so I have provided a test or note along the drill hole trees so for this particular hole this is the grace and this is the name of the lithology okay if you want the labeling of the geology to come closer you just reduce the offset okay um let me collapse the labels want to look at i want to display the good values in the form of a bar graph want to offset it two meters from the drill hole trees see um, good values so this is something like a line graph see the higher the value the higher the bar or the line I can go back to the form and change the graph the graph type this time around I want it to be a filled bar So as you can see, a graph has been drawn for the various rock type. Because magenta is our highest cutoff, that's why the bar is longer than the rest, followed by the red bar. Okay. Now, if you want to view the various rock types and their grace that go with them, um, you can go to Edit. You can go to Display edit drill hole then you select the drill hole of interest let's say i want to view the grace for this particular hole the form will appear now on this form you select the table um, i want to view the grace that correspond to the particular lithology so i'll select i see and the field will be good values and i'll click add and the good values will be displayed now i'll select geology and I want to look at the lithology. So what I'm going to do is I will relate the particular grid with the various lithologies. Okay, so I'll click add. And the geology patterns will appear. Okay, to view the grid for a particular meter or footage, you just put the cursor on it. So from 21 to 24, the good value is 0 0.3. Um, and the rock type is a metal volcanic rock okay so as you can see the legend is here for the rock types when you click on this the grace will appear on the right side in case you want to edit this manually you want to change the grid for this particular meter that's 21 to 24 you can come here and enter the value let me say i want to give it 0.4 so i'll go to the pending edits tab then it will appear here so after editing or changing the values for anything that you want to do you click apply and it will save but we are not going to change anything here so these are the good values so i press cancel i wouldn't want to save the changes if i wanted to save the changes i'll press yes but i don't want to okay let's say we want to look at the grace and the lithologies for this particular drill hole so i will go to 
display edit drivel then i'll select the whole of interest then i'll click i say add okay okay so for this particular footage 25.5 to 27 the good value is 0 0.5 and the rock type is a metavolcanic rock so you can view the various grades along the particular geologic formation okay don't forget these are the patterns that we gave to the geology the lithologies when we are setting the styles okay so you can view this as you can see we have the graduation to be one meter apart 50 51 52 53 54 55 okay okay so we do sectioning and digitizing our all zones as you can see um let me let me display my drew holes want to do away with the graphs so as you can see all the areas that we have the grease will give us the trend of the mineralization so we'll be doing the sectioning and digitizing our all trend or mineralization in the next lesson.